Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for June. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is being recorded at the end of May, but it may not resonate right now. It may not resonate to the end of June. It may resonate in the middle. It may not resonate at all. This reading may or may not be for you. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these to start and see what comes up. What do we got for Virgo for the month of June? What do we have for Virgo for the month of June? Contract. Now, it did come out reversed. So, you know, you guys may be getting out of a contract. You may be, you know, filing for divorce. I'm just being honest with you. You know, you're getting out of a work contract or a contract is, is not um, working out. You know, it's not working out in your favor okay this could be the end of a contract okay um, yeah I'm just gonna leave it reversed because I feel like that's what we need to do um, something has been unbalanced and I think that you know there's been there's been lack of harmony somebody hasn't been probably been acting with integrity um, there's been some dishonesty perhaps maybe somebody is involved in an unfair situation and the contract, it may be, you know, in the process of being, like, voided or something. could be voiding a contract, put it that way. It's, it's not, it's not working out. Something is not working out. Um, could be a work contract. Could be any kind of contract, you know. What do we got for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Six of Wands reversed. There's no progress being made. Something is not progressing. Two sixes reversed. Sixes are about, are about taking that journey to balance and harmony. Something is not harmonious. Okay, somebody needs to get their life back on track. It's like things have been out of whack, and it's time to get their. It's time to get your life back on track. It's time to reevaluate. It's a time of reevaluation. That's what we got going on here. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, this is great. This is a golden opportunity. This is a new opportunity. This is a big opportunity. This is a gift. This is receiving something tangible, something that you can touch. So this is getting something. You're going to be getting something. I don't know if it's money or whatever it is. It's something that you can touch. Ooh, somebody's holding on. This is a death reverse. If they're holding on to something, they're holding on to a dead end, and it's getting old. Okay. It's like resisting a transition, resisting a release, resisting change. Somebody has been resisting change, and it is getting old. Now, if this isn't you, it could be the person you're dealing with. I don't know. There's fear of change here. Somebody's holding on, and it is getting old. They're holding on to a false contract. And it's time for a change. It's going, we got somebody here that is trying to find balance. And the only way to find balance is to let something go. It's time. It's time to take that next step. So I feel like we have some th somebody whose life has been a little chaotic. Um, it's, it's been, it, there's been a lot of ups and downs, highs and lows. And I think that... Something isn't progressing the way it should, and, and somebody is holding on to something that, you know, maybe it maybe it's financially stable. I don't know. Maybe that's the only reason you're there is because of the money. Or the other person. Could it be the other person. The other maybe the only only reason the other person is there is because of the money. I don't know. The, the assets, the things that they can touch. You know, the physical things. Somebody is definitely not being honest. They're not telling the truth. And the challenge is acting with integrity. The challenge is taking your power back. The challenge is doing what's right for you. The challenge is accepting the reality of whatever the situation is. This is the challenge position. The challenge is acceptance of reality. 
right now, the situation right now, is to find your strength, find your courage, find your confidence, be strong. Know your value, know your worth. Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is like, you're, and this is this is in your hopes and fears. Okay, this is telling me that you are feeling fearing a loss, feeling fearing financial loss, or fearing um, in your insecure. There's insecurities here. Maybe you're afraid of messing up your routine. You know, you are Virgo after all. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, whatever it is. You know, very routine. It's like messing up the routine. Change is scary because, yes, your routine will change. Somebody has given their power away completely, given their power away to another individual. And there's bitterness and resent that is growing because of it. There's loneliness. Somebody is really not happy with their current circumstances, but not accepting the truth that, you know, they're going to have to face their fears. They're going to have to, you know, face change. Oh, my God. We got somebody here that is exhausted, mentally exhausted, needing needing to let go of this old idea, letting to get that go of this old way. You know, maybe it's time to take a break. Maybe it's time for you to take some time out and isolate yourself and retreat for a minute. Right now, I think that you are dealing with an individual who is is taking your energy and you're giving it away to them. It's like you're giving them the, the, your energy. You're allowing it. This person, it's like this person doesn't doesn't even think about your feelings. It's a very selfish energy, whoever you're dealing with. Very selfish, self-centered. It's like you're not passing the test by holding on to this dead end. The old, the, right here, right now, with this Queen of Wands, you need to be strong. You need to find your self-confidence, self your self-worth, your self-esteem. I mean, where is it anyway? You need to take a new approach. You need to hold your head up high. You have a bigger, better opportunity waiting for you. But somebody's refusing to wake up. This is refusing to wake up. And because somebody is basically asleep, not refusing to see that new respect, new perspective, basically asleep, because somebody is basically asleep, refusing to see the truth, we have resent that is growing, bitterness, anger, animosity. But, if you could find the strength to take your power back and, let, and release and transition and accept change and, you know, take the journey and let go of this false contract. You would, you would receive some sort of blessing. Okay, you will receive a blessing. This is a, the star card. You will receive wish fulfillment, but this wheel of fortune reversed is you're stuck, it's delayed. Your wish fulfillment, your true wish fulfillment is delayed. And it's because you're stuck. You, you, you keep going backwards. Now, this is the wheel of fortune is a run of bad luck, and it's a run of bad luck because somebody is fighting destiny, clinging to control. It's time to let go of this heaviness. It's time to break free. It's time to make that conscious change, to drop what isn't serving you, to drop what isn't practical in your life, to accept the change, take that next step, break free, personal freedom. You have to break free from whatever it is that you're holding on to that is basically unrealistic. It's bringing you backwards. It's costing you. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. This is the star card. It's a time of renewal. You can bring peace of mind back to your soul, back to yourself, back to yourself, okay? It's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. It's a time of healing. 
you have the opportunity to heal from this situation and get exactly what you wish for. Wish fulfillment. But you have to make the conscious change to let go of control and transition and release yourself from this situation, whatever it is. A blessing will arrive if you can make the conscious change to drop whatever this is that is making you resentful. You know, you have that you're capable of taking care of yourself. You're very capable. This is a self-sufficient individual who takes care of business and is enjoying life on their own. I don't need somebody to complete me. I can take care of myself. That's what this is. I'm good. And she's, 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 she's in optimal health and she's abundant because there's no stress. So for some of you, I feel like you may be getting out of a false contract and going your own way. Living that good life. You know, I'm just not, I'm, getting, I'm letting this go. And as you do, you will start to feel better. Your health will improve. Your abundance will improve. You know, you'll, you'll start to get ready for this wish that's going to come. Somebody will see your self-worth, your self-esteem will improve. You will start to glow and then something, some sort of wish will, will come. You will, this is receiving communication. This is somebody that will communicate. Somebody is going to communicate and want to work with you. Because you know your value. They see, you see your value, they see your value. Because you're happy. If you are the single person already and you are living this life and you are doing quite well and you're you know you don't have anything to worry about okay you're not in this worrisome state which somebody is somebody's gonna come get to this spot during this month this month of i'm good i've released i've let go i'm good i'm enjoying life all of a sudden you know something that you maybe even you subconsciously wished for is wanting to work with you, wanting to collaborate with you, wanting to communicate with you. It's like somebody may... Somebody may have been waiting, okay? Somebody may have been hiding. That's what I think. Somebody may have been hiding in the background waiting for you to get your shit together. magician reverse we have a we have a very cunning crafty individual yeah i feel like we do have somebody here that has been in hiding somebody's been waiting somebody's been watching it feels like somebody's been watching you seven of wands reversed You know, this is like, you no, know, this is somebody, I know, I don't know what the hell is going on here. This is, this is something being revealed. This could be a liar in, and with this card, this is like, you know, needing to protect yourself. You do need to protect yourself. You may be dealing with a very cunning individual, and maybe it's the same person that you need to break free from. You could be dealing with a liar, somebody who, who overly criticizes you, makes you walk on eggshells. You need to protect this person is a liar, could be a thief even. I don't know where that's coming from. They may have, this is, I think this is the same person that you need to break the contract with. Not, it may not be. Could be somebody you work with. There's somebody that you met through something. Social media maybe even. I don't know. 
something that has been hidden. It's like some sort of truth is being revealed. You may receive some sort of communication about somebody who... You may be... Re yeah, you may receive some sort of communication from somebody that has been lying to you. Somebody may be telling you the truth about a person. Maybe this, this truth, whatever it is, is going to help you to become single. It's going to help you to release, perhaps... But there's an ulterior motive of some sort. It feels like this person... No, this is an ulterior motive. This is crazy shit right here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini here. We have Pisces and Cancer right here. Um, King of Wands, this is somebody who... Maybe in your family, maybe a family member. I don't know. You know, I feel like there's, you may, you may, if you are single, this is an, another whole story, okay? This just came to my mind. This is completely, has nothing to do with anything that I was just saying. If you are single, this just popped into my head, okay? If you are single, you may go to church. <laughs> I don't go to a church, but whatever. You may go to a church for something. See, this guy's a priest. You may go to a church. And you may meet somebody. You may meet somebody. This King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it could lead to some sort of commitment. I don't know where this shit is coming from, okay? Just saying, if you are single. This could also be somebody that has lied to you in the past. If it's, if, it's, if, if it's not somebody new, this could be somebody who has misjudged you in the past. They may have lied to you in the past. They may have deceived you in the past. And now they, they want to build, a, build something with you. I don't know where this is coming from. But I feel like, you know, there's something that has been hidden it is coming to the surface this month. Somebody is going to communicate with you, whether you meet them at a church or not. I don't know. They're going to receive some sort of communication from somebody that... I think this whoever this person is, there's been some sort of argument with them in the past or some sort of deception in the past, whoever this person is. Or they've been watching you for a while. Maybe that's what the deception is. Whoever this person is, they've just been in hiding, okay? And that is kind of like deception. They've been, you know, it is kind of, but not really. I mean, people, you got to look at it however way you want. But anyway, this, there's this tricky, cunning trickster, okay? This very cunning, crafty individual who's been in hiding, okay? With that moon reverse, it's like he's... he's he's he, Maybe he wants to fight with you. Maybe he's going to step forward. Maybe he wants to, I don't know build a relationship with you, build a, you know, start something with you. So just, I don't know who this is for, but I think that somebody is going to receive communication from a fire sign that has been waiting for that moment, put it that way. I don't know. I don't know who that reading is for, but whatever. Um, I see a change is coming. Somebody has been... Um, reluctant to let go, reluctant to release, but this is making that conscious change to enjoy life. I'm, I'm doing it my way. So this is somebody dropping something that has been weighing them down and going their own way. That is what this is. And I think because they do that, it's like this blessing comes out of the blue. Completely out of the blue. Yeah. Page of Cups. There's an offer of love coming in. There is. I think it's unexpected. I think you've got a new opportunity and it could lead to something solid. It really could. 
So Virgo, I think you should be expecting the unexpected. Whoever this person is, I think they have been waiting for the perfect moment. That is what I got. Good luck.